Two players versus two insane AIs. That's gonna be the video of the day on a beautiful map, Vault in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22. We are playing Rohan and Gondor against Mordor in Isengard, just like in the film El Clásico Good versus Evil. And first things first, this AI file is not included in the official version of the patch 2.22. If you want to give it a shot, you can download this from our BFME files channel in our Discord, which you can also find the link for in the description down below. And holy guacamole, guys. You know, making the AI smarter is close to be impossible. And for that reason, in order to make this AI stronger, this AI has to cheat. Hella cheat. And I don't talk about command points. I don't talk about money. I'm talking about power points. I'm talking about the fact that this AI will be able to summon Balrog on us in a few minutes into the game. I mean, I don't want to spoil too much. Just watch what's going to happen in this game. That's going to be absolute fiesta. I was already trying to beat them in a one-on-one -on -one situation, but in a 2v2 situation, it's going to be even scarier. Uh, you know, let's give it a shot on a beautiful map vault. The good thing is we have a lot of settlements around the castle, which we will need to get the units on the fields. We will definitely need to win this game. And we will need Rohirrim with full upgrades. Shields, heavy armor, forge plate, banner. We will need Theorin, level 4 for the glorious charge. We will need Eomar leadership. We will need Aragorn. We will need Gimli. We will need Legolas. We will need Rohirrim archers with fire arrows. Holy guacamole. We need like a shenanigan, you know, in order to pull this off. But you know me, you know, no challenge, no... You see this? You see this, boys? This Uruks have already forge plate like two minutes into the game. How insane is that, actually? Okay, Meriadoc, Brandywork, I'm counting on you. Let's actually grab two settlements close to the mortal castle. This way we can stall. We cannot keep them alive for a long time, but we can actually kind of keep them busy. And that's what I'm aiming to do. The bomb is ready. I mean, we need time, boys. We need time. Uh, mortal has a lot of orcs up on the field. Uh, let's close the gate and hope for the best. <laughs> what can I say, dude? That's gonna be an absolute amazing game, guys. I hope you will enjoy this. And if you do, please don't forget to leave a like. And also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. It really helps a lot. It would be amazing if we can somehow manage to get to 20,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. You know, which is kind of insane also. Because I never expected to reach this many views and also this many subscribers by doing BFME content only. So, by the way, guys, thank you very much for the huge support. really means a lot to me. Okay, if you want to go crazy with this sport, what you can also do is follow me on my Twitch channel, which you can find the link for in the description down below. And I would love to meet you in one of the streams, because very soon, we will have a BFME 1 tournament on the Twitch channel. So, you know, it's going to be also fun. Okay, so farm, 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 farm. We also need to steeple, though. We need to steeple. Uh, I'm not sure when to go for the steeple. I think I'm going to build farms exclusively, first of all, and then recruit heroes and, you know, Rohirrim at the same time. I mean, like I said, keeping... Oh my goodness, look, this guy is already heavy armor too. Are you kidding me? Berserkers coming out of nowhere. You know, dude, that's going to be kind of crazy and scary at the same time. I mean, there is one thing you need to kind of abuse, and I, I don't know how to fix this. When you cloak your Hobbit at, a, in a, at one point, and the, some units are being drawn. They, are, they know that the Hobbit is there, but they cannot really reach the Hobbit because the Hobbit is untargetable. And that kind of makes the AI go all the way to the Hobbit and wait there. And that sounds lame, I know, but you need that. You need that to pull this game off. You need it. Okay. So Elma first, because Elma is even more important than Theodin, and because of outlaw leadership, which will give us money for every time when we kill enemy units. And the good thing about this situation is we will eventually end up killing like 10,000 units. You know? Oh, you see this? You see this? There's a mountain troll already on the field. Okay, we need to kind of make the Hobbit invisible to close to the troll cage. And hopefully, you know, <laughs> dude, oh, there is a hobbit. So we gotta cloak him and hope that the trolls are gonna be coming to my hobbit and not following, you know? That's very important. <laughs> we have Elma on the field. Dude, before we have Elma on the field, this guy had already a troll and the other guy had like forge plates and also heavy armor on his Urukai. Oh, Meriadoc Brandybog. I need, to, I need to heal him, guys. I need to heal him. I cannot... Oh my... You see this? You see this? We gotta build a tower now. We gotta build a tower because the troll is about to smash our gate like three minutes into the game. Are you out of your mind, troll? Okay. 
Okay, troll, come. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. Let's cloak. And hopefully, these trolls are gonna come all together. <laughs> Look, Elma on top of the <laughs> wall. <laughs> This is, please kill the troll already, dude. This troll is smashing us. The second they break in, it's over, boys. We cannot win this anymore. So we gotta open the gate. And hopefully he will stop attacking the gate. But he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Sometimes, dude, I'm, I'm telling you, it's like RNG. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the troll is playing out of his mind. But sometimes they are doing, like, stupid stuff. And, uh, you know, the only thing you can hope is that this is gonna be one of the situations in which the AI is gonna make a stupid call. Oh my goodness, there is a Nazgul already on the field. Is he gonna kill my... Oh no, 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 no. Okay, I was scared for a second. I was like, is he gonna find my Hobbit? Because, the Ho you know, the Nazgul can find them even when they're invisible by using the guard button. So we need to get on the field ASAP. Look at the Orcs. Oh my, my ally... <laughs> my ally is also not having a rough... <laughs> He's also not having like an easy time, boys. Huge army. Uh, let's build a post and gate. Uh, that's, I mean, I like this kind of games. You see, these trolls are leveling up automatically by themselves, by doing nothing, by just standing there. And that's one of the things, you know, this AI is cheating, hella cheating. I know you might say, but that's kind of boring. I know, I got you, but the problem is you cannot make the AI stronger besides giving them additional cheats. That's legit the only way. The game is a very old game, it's hard-coded, and for that reason, unless you have like a incredible amount of knowledge in terms of programming a game.dat file, you have not really a lot of power and you are quite limited in terms of the changes you want to implement. So you cannot do everything you want. It's unfortunately not possible. Okay, we have the shield made enough Rohan. We need to get her on the field because we have seen an Asgul. You know, that's very important. Erwin is a very good hero when you play as Rohan against Mordor. I think that's the only time she's a good hero. <laughs> but, you know, making Eowyn stronger would be like a direct after the Rohan faction too. And Rohan is already the most heroes from all four factions in the game. Okay. So, you know, we need to rohirim, boys. We need, we need to open it, you know. I don't know what to do. We need to rohirim. We need to get... Oh, you see how many trolls he has? The second. I don't know if this is going to happen. But the second, if he can kill the Mary, it's going to be over for us. So, let's recruit some rohirim. You look at the minimap. <laughs> you see the minimap. Please take a look into the minimap. You see this red stuff all around the map. Like they are everywhere. They are everywhere. There are so many of them. You know, is Gandalf would like to say they are coming. And we need eventually Gimli who says let them come. But even Gimli would be scared about a situation like this. So there are only orcs. We can always, you know, do this. We can open the gate, let a couple of them inside, and then close the gate before the Uruks can come in. Please don't tell me, Uruks. Please don't tell me. Oh, nice. Dude, that was really close. If the Uruks could get in with the Forge Blades, holy moly. Okay, we have two power points in the bank. Now it's about time to get our tier into level 4 and for the glorious charge. For death and glory, boys. That's very important. We are losing legit every single farm outside, which is obviously always gonna happen. You cannot keep map control against Hard Army at the beginning of the game. That's legit impossible. You can't. That is... Nobody can do this, by the way. Nobody. Okay, we need to kind of play a bit slow because I, you know, the worst thing that can happen to you early on is here is if you lose your, um, you know, your heroes. It's gonna slow you down so much, and we gotta target the pikeman. You see, he has pikeman in the porcupine formation with forge blades. Look how many uruks are coming, crossbowmen are coming. The good thing is, Elma is level four. That means we have horse lord leadership unlocked now, which means sixty percent more damage for the rohirrim and rohirrim archers later on. And would you look at that, boys? Would you look at that? This is crazy. And, you know, we were actually looking for a chance to implement this AI as like a new difficulty. You know what I'm saying? It's like a difficulty number four. As you know, in BFME 1, there are three difficulties. Easy, medium, and also hard. So, unfortunately, once again, because of the limitations of the game, you cannot add additionally one brand new difficulty. You can only change one of the difficulties, rename it, but you cannot add a new one. So, you have only the chance to have three difficulties at the same time for the BFME 1. And for that reason, we decided to not implement this. So if you want to give it a shot, you need to download it, download that from the description uh, Discord. Join the Discord and then find the BFME files channel and download the file and place it in your installation folder. You know, the C programs, x86, EA games, the battle for Middle Earth. Okay, nice, so boys. So we have horseman shields. That's good. That's going to give us more durability against arrows. Oh, <laughs> my ally is kind of underestimating the insane AI. He's opening the gate. He's brave. He's very brave. Oh my goodness, do you see this? 
Did you guys see how many throws he had on the point? Are you kidding me? Holy moly, guys. Dude, <laughs> this is going to be something else. They are leveling up passively. That's the scary part. Look at this army in front of us. Dude, you see heavy armor, forge plate, crossbowmen, orcs, orc archers. Nazgul is coming too. We gotta close the gate. We need to deal with the Nazgul. I don't know how. We have only one spear throw. And that's gonna chunk him, but not one shot him. We need to build some more towers. It, it actually kind of sucks. And we need to now invest money into that. It's gonna slow us down so much, but we have no choice. We have no choice. We have to do that. We have nothing to shoot him with. Not even the Rohan Citadel can shoot, unlike the Gondor Citadel, so we need to be careful. We need to be extremely careful. Can I actually make sure that we get the last hit with Elma? But the problem is, you see how tanky this Nazgul is against the tower. We need to build more, but we are broke. Guys, we have no cash, no money. Please die already. Three towers are shooting at you, Nazgul. Come on, Nazgul, don't be that tough. Okay, guys, we need eventually, not eventually, we need definitely, very soon, Rohirrim Arches, but, you know, it's easier said than done. Look, our money. We are not the richest person in Middle Earth, let me tell you that much, so we need to... <laughs> uh, okay, so we gotta make bang now with killing units. I think that's the only possible way we can get money, because Rohan is the one faction with the least settlements inside the castle. So if you don't know, Rohan is only seven, Gondor is nine, and Mordor and Isengard... My Mary just died. Guys... Hello? <laughs> the Witch King just killed my Mary. Uh, you know what it means, right? <laughs> you know what it means. Don't you guys? You know that, right? right? Please, right? Don't get slowed down. Oh my goodness. Look how much we are killing. Look the money that we are making. That's very good. Let's use the Alvin Wood for additional armor. Let's try for defending glory. Right now. Right. For the world's ending. Damn. Dude, this scene, by the way, when you when you watch this, let me know in the comment section down below. Regardless how many you watched, how many times you already watched, it. which king is here? Regardless how many times you watched already the scene in, in Minas Tirith when the Rohirrim arrive, but you gotta be honest, if you still watch it in 25, oh my goodness, you st you will still get goosebumps, don't you? <laughs> so hey, I have a surprise for my ally. <laughs> I cannot deal with that, so I need to try to lure them before... Look how many boys! Look how many boys! What is... How can I deal with them? I can't. If they get inside the jeans, it's over for me. It's over. Elvin, go shield maiden. Beat them. Beat them. Show your quality like your husband, Faramir. Oh, my, oh they are following me. Hey, hey, hey. I, I'm sorry, guys, but I, I have to do it to him, right? I have to... You know, there can't be victory without a sacrifice. <laughs> so let's do it. I'm gonna bait them inside the castle of my ally. <laughs> Follow me, trolls. Follow me. I mean, I have no way of dealing with that. How can I deal with that? So what I want to do is I want to actually buy time with Eowyn and try to get as many power points collected as I pos you know, potentially can in the meantime to get the EOD summon. So follow me, trolls. Follow me, right? So I'm gonna buy this. But the thing is, I need like five more power points, boys. I have to use the AOT. That's the only possible way for me. Oh my goodness. Rams, pikes, crossbowmen with fire and heavy armor. Don't I, Elvin? I cannot afford to lose you. Okay. Uh, he's using Warchan too. It's the outpost now. The Witch King was attacking my ally. Hey. Ally, sorry, my friend, but I'm coming for you. <laughs> I'm coming. So we gotta fight now. We gotta fight. We need to get at least four more power points and a quarter for the AOT summon. Let's trample. For Death and Glory, no, for Rohan. In this case, for Gondor. Actually, that's like a good revenge situation. You know, Tyrion was always complaining where was Gondor when Westworld fell. And now, Gondor is here when Volt is falling. And Elvin is like, Gondor, it's revenge. <laughs> look at this. Would you look at that? Dude, we need two and a half power points more. He's about to break in. He's about to break in. We gotta use heal. We need two more power points. We need to come to this location. We need to use the glorious charge. We need to go for death and glory. Elvin, the shields maiden of Rohan is no more. I'm sorry, my friends, but the trolls are about to smack your castle. And the only way we can save him is with AOD, with the army of the dead. We will need, we will need to summon them to fulfill, fulfill their oath. So, death, right. Rally to me! Rally to me! Nine power points? Come on, we need a bit more. You see Uruk's level six, Crossbowman level six. UD? Come on, nice. Now we gotta use it. Hey, ally, I was trolling you a little bit, but I got your back. I got your back, I got your back. But, but you guys, listen to me. Now you can troll me and also flame me in the chat or in the comment section down below and say, Yeah, Shanks, you was trolling your ally. But 
What? <laughs> Did I have a... Look how many ballista. Hey, man, thank you so much for the follow on the Twitch channel. Appreciate it. Glad friend. Means a lot. Oh, I lose my, all my army. I just lost all my army. Are you kidding me? Guys, but what are the choice that I actually have? I didn't have any choice. If I would let them in, this game would be over. If I get defeated, my ally cannot handle the 2v1 situation. That's not possible. So I think that was a good move. Let me know what... To oh my goodness, the Balrog is breath firing his own ballista. Don't die, Elma. I cannot afford to lose you. He is on cooldown. Hail when you stand. How can we kill this Nazgul ASCP? Don't die, Elma. Okay, I think the tower is going to be able to handle this. Level 10 Rohirrim. Okay, so... Nice, -o. nice, -o, nice. -o. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, so we have all the power points unlocked. Uh, even though the end summon, let's be real, that won't change too much. I think this, you know, this game is going to take a while, boys. I mean, we are not even close to be done yet. We are not, I mean... Maybe we are close to be defeated, but we are not enough. This is enough. You know, we are far away from eventually winning this game. Let me tell you that much. We need armory. We need data on also outpost control. I mean, all of that. You know, I know that. I know that, guys. Don't tell me, hey, Shanks, you need to do this. Shanks, do we need to do that? In the comment section down below. I know what is supposed to be done. The thing is, you cannot simply do it. One, do one does not simply walk into Mordor, guys. That's not possible. The, the second you move out, the second you want to fight for the map control, the second you want to capture outposts, trust me on that one, you will lose them in a few seconds and there is little to nothing you can do about the situation. You cannot have such a force. The only thing you need to, you can do against that is EOD summon, which is 8 minutes cooldown. So you cannot spam that thing, right? So EOD got nerfed in the patch 2.22, so did Balrog and, you know, the first Balrog we kind of got, you know, around it. But we need to make sure <laughs> the eagles, the eagles are coming. Okay, the eagles, the eagles are going. They are gone, boys. They are gone into the darkness. Okay, and unfortunately, we also lost a lot of the units. That's kind of bad because uh, we, they were all level ten, you know. Okay, so pikeman and porcupine formation. How many times do you see this? You see this pressure normally in a normal match against seven hard armies. And by the way, guys, I've done one me sevens every single time. So I was playing one me seven as any faction, also evil factions, by the way. Oh my goodness, trolls, witch king. I, I don't know. We need. We need. What do we need? <laughs> I mean, I'm speechless. There are too many, too much. Okay. I mean, I've done one with sevens, right? I've done one with sevens with Isengard, Mordor, Gondor, and Rohan on the map Old Brownlands. And I've also done that on the map Init with. Which means we had only one outpost. The only faction I couldn't do a one with seven with was actually Mordor. But I did it with Rohan, Isengard, and Gondor. On our outpost map. Oh, he's actually pinging me, my ally. Uh, lots going on. Oh, Ballista spam. But I cannot help him yet. I cannot help him yet. We need to deal with the Witch King. And there comes another Nazgul. I mean, as far as I know, Mordor has two Nazguls and a Witch King. But it feels like this guy has like nine Nazguls and five Witch Look how many explosive mines he has in the jeans too. Dude, the second one of the Nazguls is finally gone. Then it comes another Nazgul. That's unbelievable. Okay, let's try to kill the Ballista. We need to help him. I know, I know, guys. But how can I leave the cat? Oh my goodness. This guy is like losing all his base. Okay, we gotta help him out, boys. We gotta help him out. <laughs> I don't know how, but we need to try it. We need to recruit three archers to get it to level two for the fire upgrade. We need to hit him archers, then it's gonna be way, way easier for us to deal with the Nazgûls and also with Trolls and Witch King. But we don't have that right now. We have also no Aragorn. We have not even the chance and the money to revive our Elvin yet. So let's go for death and glory, boys. Let's go, let's go. Let's go inside the jeans. Oh my, Ballista Spammer. <laughs> Isengard is actually, look how many explosive mines in one location. I, you know, sometimes you actually, I have like an intention to throw my ally with, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I have to, I have to build to use the fire arrows on those explosive mines and blow him up, you know? But look, Faramir is going on top of the wall trying to show his quality. <laughs> For death and glory, can I deal with that? My ally needs EOT because he has just too many pikemen for me to deal with. I cannot deal with the pikemen. I can kill the ballista. I can kill the Uruks, crossbow man, and yes, but I cannot deal with the pikemen. Oh my goodness, how many ballista does this guy actually have, dude? It's unbelievable. I mean, how can I deal with that now? That's a big question. Because Glorious Charge is off. Oh, there is even a ballista in between the archer range and the blacksmith. Oh, holy crack and moly, guys. You see this toughness? You see this difficulty? That's something else, I'm telling you. That's something else. 
But I like that. I really do like that. I think that's quite fun when it's challenging like this. You know what I'm saying? But we need to kind of go back and recover. And I... The thing is, Rohan is very limited. As you can see, we have SVR token. Oh my goodness, what did break through it? Uh, SVR token, we have only four farms inside the castle. We have one archer range, one well, and one stable. And four farms. We have zero farms outside. My ally might be defeated, and that might be a GG situation, because the second he's defeated, how can I deal with two of them at the same time? I can't. And let's hope that he will be somehow able to defend himself with power points. <laughs> Gondor has luckily the best power points in the game. And the problem is that also all the leadership... Oh, nice. Gondor calls for eight and Rohan will answer, but not our Rohan. There is another Rohan in involved. And the thing is, as our army is heavily relying on leadership bonuses. So we need Elma leadership, we need Theorin leadership, we need Glorious Charge. But all of that is being completely negated with one button of the Isengard AI, which is the Freezing Rain. So all our leadership bonuses are completely gone now. And that's really bad. That's actually the worst thing... Oh my goodness, now the Isengard is actually going on us. But now we have at least one Rohirrim Archer. That's better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> and the problem is, our Fear Resistant is also getting negated. So basically, heroes with the Fear Resistant, right? Uh, Freezing Rain is also negating that. So your Fear Resistant is no more. So basically, two Nazguls, one Witch King can fear you all the time. Oh my, that was really close. That was really close. We need to help my ally. But there is a Nazgul and a Witch King I need to deal with. Nazgul is dead. Please die. Please die. Please die. Dude, the towers from Rohan, they don't hurt them. They're so tanky. They're so tanky. Screech all you want, brother. But I have fear resistance. Oh my. We need more Rohirrim Arches, boys. We need more of them. That's not enough. We are broke, though. <laughs> we are so poor. My ally is, I think, he's like even more in a, in a bad spot than I, I am. He has like lost two parts of his wall. Which will cost them over 3,000 to repair. There is a troll coming up to us. Uh, but the foul beast, the witch king, is finally, finally dead. Okay, let's destroy. I mean, we need to, with the Yomana Archer, we need to actually try to eventually buy an outpost. And put them inside the outpost. And then we need to make some farms, you know. Because we are poor and there is a high chance that we might lose army over and over again. That means we need tens of thousands of resources to actually keep being able to remake the army we are losing. So, revive heroes. You know, re remake Rohirrim and Rohirrim Arches. That's very important. And I'm using pretty much all my power points to help my ally. Which is okay, because I'm able to defend myself with the, with the Rohirrim and Rohirrim Arches. And the second we get more Rohirrim Arches on the field, it's going to be even a bit easier. And we can also finally push, because defending all alone is not going to get us the VW here. It's not going to get us the victory. We need to also uh, try to, you know, deal some damage. Okay. Uh, oh, there is a Balrog. Balrog of Morgoth. I'm gonna use the EOD. And we also... Oh my goodness. There is a... Okay, he's, it's gone. It's gone. Okay, nice. The Ram. I mean, I think my ally has like literally zero units on the field. <laughs> he has like literally zero units on the field. Like he has egos and stuff like this. Good power points are good. But you will need army to, you know, do something. I mean, I cannot even blame him. He lost like all his base. Nice. Luckily, we killed the Balrog before he could make it to the castle of our ally. Our ally needs some more time. And unfortunately, unfortunately, in Bifmi 1, sending money to your ally is not possible. And even if it, will po if it would be possible, I mean, look my money, guys. I'm not in a situation to help anyone else, you know? Okay, more Rohirrim Arches are required. Uh, the Ballista spam is real. The Ballista spam is real. Stop it. Look how many Ballista he has on the field. Holy moly, guys. That's unbelievable. We need to recover now. We have actually took, taken so much damage. I think we need to make sure to not destroy the Furnace. Because there is a chance, hopefully for us, that the Isengard AI won't rebuild this outpost yet. So it's better to not destroy it. When you destroy it fully, you will just rebuy it. And it's going to be way worse. So the furnace is not going to hurt us, right? That's fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I see you. Okay, I mean... What can I see? We need to help him, right? We cannot leave him alone. He has literally no, nothing on the field. No Gandalf, no Farami, no Boromir, no Arches, no Rangers, no Tower Guards, no Soldiers, nothing. Our both Rohan heroes are level 10. I mean, there are just too many pikemen, so I need some sort of assistance to deal with the pikemen. Because I have not many Rohirrim Arches yet, and I gotta be careful with the Rohirrim Arches too, because I don't want to shoot accidentally on one of the explosive mines, which will blow up the wall of my ally. So he was summoning the Rohan allies, it's good. 
with them you can actually kill the ballista that's good you know when you lose the rohirrim summon from your spellbook it's not a big deal because they are only there for a short duration anyway but if i lose a rohirrim battalion that's gonna cost me lots of money and time and it's better for him to lose the rohirrim from the summon than me losing the actual rohirrim from the stable Okay, so, oh nice, our Royoman archers were actually able to clean this up, that's good, we can now work our way slowly up to the top side, and you, would you look at this, this guy is actually hunting my Rohirrim archers as, are, as I'm trying to, you know, group them up, um, dude, this is so annoying, this is so annoying, we need to deal with him, I mean, now we have four Rohirrim archers, don't lose him, hello darkness, my old friend, can you please die, dude, dude, witch king, can you please die, just, just die, come on now, I know no man can kill you, and I have no Eowyn, so I know you are tanking beefy, but please, please, nah, yeah, yes, back out, please, back out, please, dance around the rosy, dance at the, at the, yeah, yeah, help us, help us, okay, so, oh my goodness, dude, this is Fiesta, boys, this is Fiesta, we need to make sure to not shoot with the Rohirrim matches, though, because I don't know if they have, like, any, oh, there comes a the freezing rain just before I want to use the glorious charge, but it's it is how it is we gotta commit now we gotta commit we gotta tr trample as much as we can so let's use the alvin wood okay and for deafening glory looks at man the white wizard oh the fireball okay i blow up something <laughs> i don't know what i blow up but you see the wall is not looking very healthy <laughs> this is this gondor base is slowly but surely turning into an isengard castle guys okay we have money though that's good that's good, we need more Rohirrim Arches. Uh, we need leadership. I mean, the rain is still active. We need leadership, boys. That's what we need. So I can leave the Rohirrim Arches for now here and send my Rohirrim to heal up because he lost the well. Maybe... Oh, can I kill this, please? Die already, wizard. Die, wizard, please. More ballistas are coming, boys. That's not the thing you want to see. There is a Nazgul inside, the inside our castle, too. I mean, I want to, at, at some part of the game, I need to also, you know, recruit Tegolas and Aragorn and Gimli. I need those three hunters too, but I, I just can't afford it. I'm poor, you know? Oh my goodness, man. Oh, this is tilting. <laughs> this is really tilting. What can what can man do against such a reckless seed? Theoden is right about it. Theoden is right about it. But you know me? Never give up. Never surrender, boys. Never give up. Never surrender. Ere the sun rises. Okay. Uh, yeah, but he loses the well all the time. Maybe he needs to reposition the well in a, in a different location because the well is the first front building is like very squishy. Oh my goodness! The ballista, pew 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 pew, and my Elma, the horse lord of Rohan, is no more. We gotta revive him. That's very important. But he's level ten. That's gonna also make him a lot of you know really expensive. Dude. Uh, Come, my friends, the ends are going to war. It is likely that we are going to our doom. The last march of the ends. Okay, the trolls are coming. Trolls against ends. You'll have to see it. So, by the way, in a, in a one on one situation, it, there is no doubt. Ends are smoking trolls for living. But remember that trolls have the chance to get a lot of additional leadership bonuses. With that, I mean Drummer, Troll, Witch King, Darkness, all that of kind of crazy stuff. And with them together, there is no chance for the end to even hurt a troll. Because the attack rate, with that, I mean, I mean the attack speed, right? From an end is so much slower than the attack speed from a troll. So, before the end will be able to hit him one single time, the troll is going to be able to smoke the end with this insane amount of leadership bonuses. There is no chance. Okay, nice soon, nice soon, nice soon. Um, we are kind of in a, in a good, kind of, I mean, relatively in a good spot. Um, we need Elma back. We need to kind of play it slow until Elma is back on the menu. And yes, we can't really do much besides defending as we are talking because there is always a Nazgul and always a Witch King, always a Nazgul and always a Witch King. It's unbelievable. It's really, it, it really is unbelievable, you know? Okay. Hmm. Nice. Alright, so I think that's gonna give us some moment to breathe. 
which is definitely needed. That's this dude, this game is already so much more exhausting than any multiplayer game I've ever played. You can't even imagine. And I've played multiplayer like crazy. But this game is so exhausting because they are cheating, you know? Not because they are outsmarting us or out microing us or out macroing us. It's like the insane amount of spam they have. Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. We gotta kill the mine. Don't shoot the mine. Would imagine if I, you know, shoot the mine there. All my Rokirim and heroes would be, you know, dead. Nazgûls everywhere. Oh, now there comes the swarm of Warc Riders. All right, I see you, Warc Riders. Okay, but now we have leadership, though. We have leadership now, I believe, also from Farami and Boromir. I think they are also nearby. Oh, my. Okay, dude, Yomun Arches, dude. Nice, Yomun Arches. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm gonna give you fire arrows as a reward. Boromir has also leadership bonuses. That's good. Can I please finish them off? Kill him. Oh, but too many barista. Too many barista. Don't lose the level 10. Dude, we gotta find a solution to the siege spam. We need to kind of find a way to actually destroy the enemy siege warrix, guys. I think that's gonna be extremely important. Because otherwise, this, this Isengard will spam, you know, ex Oh, that is a Gandalf. Okay. Finally, finally. Dude, we are like only... What? How long is this game going for? I don't even know, guys. But I think there was a really late, 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 late Gandalf. Okay. Um, oh, there comes the Balrog of Morgoth. Oh, hey, sorry, my friend. <laughs> Dude, it was not intended. It was not intended. Dude, I, I think like I'm trolling my ally all game long, but I'm also saving him at the same time. It's like, you know, being the, being the, being the person who is making the crime, but also being the judge, actually, and helping him out or something. I don't know. Too many explosive mines. Dude, I literally... What, what am I supposed to do? Should I not recruit Rohirrim Arches or what? I need them. You know, how else can I kill those trolls and Mooma kills and, I don't know, like pikemen and, and fell bees and witch king? How can I kill them, you know? Level 6 Yomuna Arches, that's good. That's very good. Um, Oh, the freezing rain is active once again, man. That's unbelievable. But we need to try to actually take down the siege force, boys. Hey, it is time. Dev! Oh, Elma! Elma is getting sniped on the face. Oh, my ally is using you. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's going to draw the aggro from the units. And also all the towers are going to shoot at the offbreakers. That's very good for us. Now we can use the momentum. But again, without leadership, it's really tough, you know? Without leadership, it's really, really tough. It's a leadership-based faction. Just like Mordor is. That's why also Freezing Rain is so good against Mordor. I don't know if he can take it down. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try anyway. My Elma is so low too. I mean, leadership doesn't really matter. We need to just take it down somehow. And hope that he's not going to be able to rebuild it anytime soon. My Elma is getting shot in the face all the time from a ballista. Okay, we destroyed the siege works. Now it's time to disengage, boys. I, I don't think we can keep committing here. We are losing a lot of stuff. Heal is on cooldown. AOD is gone. We need to now bail. Okay. Good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Dude, that was the first time we actually went for an offensive move, guys. It was the very first time we actually went for an offensive move. And we gotta do this only 25,000 more times, and then we might be eventually victorious. Eventually. We will see. We need a statue there, definitely, to boost the damage of the arches inside. And also, let's recruit some more normal Rohirrim, because the Rohirrim arches, they are only good for killing the... Oh, we have Aragorn now, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna actually leave Aragorn inside the castle of my ally all the time, you know? This way he, will, he can be guarding this area. Because I cannot sit in the base from my ally all the time. He doesn't seem to have an army pretty much all game long, and he needs army. So otherwise I will be just having to sit here 24-7, and that's not what we want to see, you know? Because that's not gonna win us the game. So we gotta make an offensive move. And ideally the offensive move has to be made the second the freezing rain is on cooldown. So basically, after the freezing rain's effect is gone, that's that's the time for us to shine. Okay, I don't see any more siege weapons, but I see a Saruman top side. And, oh, I see a Ballista actually. Okay, Gandalf is back on the menu. That's good. Let's use the end special summon. Come, my friends. Oh, he stole my ends. Did you guys see this? I've never seen this AI doing this before. He stole three out of my four ends from the special summon. What is going on today? Saruman! Looks like you want to take the revenge of what happened in the Isengard. Once Isengard was moving to Helm's Deep, you know, in the film at least. 
uh, the ends we are taking care of that. Okay, boys. So it's time. It's time for death and glory. Oh, this guy is still ballista. How is this possible? Be destroyed? Oh, he has one. Oh, I'm blind. <laughs> he has one more. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Dude, it's so intense for me. Maybe you see maybe much more stuff than I actually do. But trust me, if you play this for a um, this long time, uh, you know it's it's hard. We need to kill the explosive mine. Blow it up. Shoot! Nice, finally, dude. I'm sorry for screaming, but I, I, they don't shoot. They don't want to shoot. They don't want to play the game. Okay, nice. Um, I mean, the glorious charge is over. So, uh, you know, let's. it's time for Legolas, boys. It's time for Legolas. The prince of the Mirkwood Elves can also shoot from a long distance all the time. Pew, 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 pew. I mean, it's so hard for me to reach to this guy, right? It's so hard because every single building is shooting and then he might just use freezing rain or I might just not be at pay attention for like for like a split second. I accidentally click on an explosive mine and I might lose legit all my army in a, in a few seconds, in like one second. There is a Balrog coming, but the Balrog is so far away. That's good for us. I mean, the Balrog usage yet isn't improved, uh, but... That's good like this, because if the AI would be able to summon the Balrog on top of your army or on top of your gate every single time, how insane would this actually be? No? I'm actually holding myself here. We have a huge army of Rohirrim too, guys. That's very good. Um, Aragorn is here, Legolas is here. We have also now money, finally. We have finally money in the bank. That's very good. Okay, these are only orcs. We gotta make sure to target the pikemen. Let's use the elven wood. Um, and then kill the pikemen, and then we can clean them all up with the Rohirrim. Because all our Rohirrim are level 10. And they have also an insane amount of... Oh, the, the Balrog actually made it to the spot. Um, okay. Alright. I mean, how much time does he actually have this Balrog? That's crazy. <laughs> we gotta kill this troll though. Nice, 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 nice. Let's peel. The Nazgûs are still coming to our castle all the time. But now we have a lot of towers shooting. Oh, you see this? The runes, the Easterlings are going to war. Actually, this Balrog is still insane, by the way. What? And our Aragorn is level 9. Na Did actually Aragorn kill Balrog? I didn't even pay attention. Okay, level 9. A little bit more than a level away from getting the army of the dead. And we have two army of the dead, which is, by the way, insane. Like, I'm telling you one thing. Um, the offbreak special summon from Aragorn is actually in, like, 9 out of 10 situations better than the War of Power from Gandalf. Because the thing is, about War of Power... If the enemy has like too much leadership, it doesn't hurt them. But EOD doesn't care about your leadership bonuses. So it always hits like a truck and you have nothing to do against that. The only thing is that mobile units can always disengage. But infantry and trolls and monsters, they have no chance of escaping the EOD. And they will be going down every single time. Every single time, trust me. Yeah, the sun rises. Okay, we gotta kill. I mean, he has so many runes. My ally is kind of defending with the help of Gimli, Legoras, and also Aragorn. So the three hunters are gonna guard Gondor, the White City, just like in the films. I mean, not really like in the films, because let's be let's be real. Aragorn and Gimli and Legolas they came to Minas Tirith after the fight was almost over, just to like kill the moment kills at the end of the day, you know. But the real fighters in Helm's Deep was actually Rohan and Gandalf. Oh, this mortar has also such weapons now. Catapults, boys. Oof, that's going to be tough. And don't tell me in the comments, hey Shanks, why don't you play 1v7 against Insane AI? Don't even dare to say that to me, by the way, guys, because it's impossible. It's impossible. Dragon. <laughs> this seed spam is getting on my, on my nerves. We need to find a solution. I think the next AOT I need to use offensively. Like, we need to legit find a solution to this siege weapon spam. And, you know, taking down the entire castle of Isengard seems to not be an option as we are talking. We can't do that. Look how many trolls. I mean, only one, but... <laughs> I have, like, a troll hobby. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I see too much today. Like, the rams, even the siege weapon spam is the scariest part. Even this level 2, that's good. Aragorn. Aragorn. Oh, I see you, Balrog. I see you, Balrog. Get him. Get him one more hit. I need to get level 10. Need a little bit more experience to get level 10. Don't die, Aragorn. My heal is on cooldown. I cannot heal him. Use LND. Oh, I can't. I can't. Run, 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 run. Run, run. I don't want to talk about it. 
I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it either. That's just like pretend like it never happened, boys. It just never happened. These ballistas. Ugh, go down. Go destroy them. Just you. <laughs> there is a Balrog inside the castle of my ally. I just lost my Gimli and Aragorn. It was looking so good like a minute ago. What just happened? They, they broke my gate and going inside the jeans with the ram too? What just happened? Look, the yeah, is Balrog is still alive and actually dealing tremendous amount of damage to our ally. Look at this Easterling spam and rest and be Citadel. I gotta use EOD here, but it's even too late. I still lost it still. Dude, uh, what can man do against such a reckless seat? What can man do against such a reckless seat? That is a Witch King leadership. They have even a siege tower. It's my gate. It's my bowl. Dude, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, luckily, the only good thing for us is we have money. We had money because all the money is gone now. Uh, please kill this Witch King somehow. Please, please kill him. Please kill him already. Nice, we are bursting him. Yeah, fly to my outpost, please. Yeah, fly to my outpost. It's a good idea, Witch King. There is a Yeoman Archer waiting to show his quality. Die now. Feast on his flesh. No man can kill you, but a Yeoman Archer can. Okay, that's good. Let's kill this troll. It's also very good. And by the way, I just lost my Legolas too. <laughs> I just lost my Lego that's too. Uh, that's rough, boys. That's I don't know what to say. That's really rough. Oh boy. I lost all my three hunters. Gimli is back on the menu. Gimli, see, that still only counts as one. That still only counts as one, Gimli. Okay, the Cloud Break is on cooldown, EOD is on cooldown. We are permanently under pressure every single time. So if it's not my castle, it's, it's the castle from my ally. So I can legit not find a way of getting around it and try to go for the attack. Because I'm afraid if I do that, my ally might lose the game. And if he loses the game, they will just you know, both target me and then how can I deal with that? You can't. That's legit not possible. So Gimli is there, that's good. We can now revive also Legolas and send them again to the castle of the ally. And then we need to, with the mobile army of Rohirrim and Rohirrim Arches, we gotta make stuff happen. That's very important. We have literally no time to waste. We gotta kill this Fell Beast. The catapults first of all, that's good. Fell Beast should be gone in a few seconds. I mean, Freezing Rain is still active, I believe. That's why they are not glowing. Okay, the trolls are going down 112 for each of them. I mean, money is still needed, by the way. As you can see, we are not wealthy, we are not rich. We need a lot of money because the thing is, if we ever get the chance to destroy a castle, we gotta buy it for ourselves. If you don't do that, they will just simply... Oh, there comes the Freezing Rain. It's mm. mm. so, so tilting. It's so tilting. I don't know what to say. It's so tilting. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the new insane AI difficulty. Why my Gimli, why my Gimli is running it down. My, 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 you know, my Aragorn is really close to, level, to be level 10. I can't even talk anymore. I mean, hopefully he's gonna get level 10 very soon. Look, my Yeoman uh, Rohira match is on top of the wall. But luckily, that's actually fixed in the patch 2.2. They can also leave now. Sometimes in BFM1, like I, like I said, we have like a lot of limitations. So basically, half of the stuff you want to implement into the patch 2.2 is legit not possible. And, you know, I feel like BFM is the game it is. It's not even a bad game. It's not even horribly balanced. Uh, but it needs some quality of life change. Gee, what the heck this guy is doing? Balrog summon on my army? Stop him, ends. Ends against Balrog. Let's go. Ends. Rock him. Rock and roll him. He's coming to my base, boys. He's coming to my base. Atelas, come on, Aragorn. Please don't die once again. I just revived you, bro. Oh my, he's coming, boys. He's coming. Fly, you fools, as Gandalf would like to see. Right, you fools. He used the breath fire on the gate, but the gate was already broken. Gandalf from my ally is coming. A wizard is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. But I think you need more than Gandalf to actually save today. He missed it also, right? He didn't hit the lightning sword on, 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 on the Balrog. So we gotta build towers, and hopefully the Balrog's time is gonna be gone. I mean, the, the towers are gonna be... Oh, we gotta use EOD here, right? Okay, let's go. 
this ballista spam is actually getting really on my nerves, guys. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even lying. It's, it's just like, I'm not even kidding anymore. That's like literally annoying. Did he just zap last my Aragon away like this? <laughs> this other one, you have like, you are brief. But Legolas is like, you will die before your stroke fell. Take this. Oromia, the captain of Gondor. Power points are no problem anymore. We have everything unlocked. The Balrog is still alive, by the way. And we just lost like nearly 50% of the base. Just like that. The Balrog is gone. We need to now again invest money into rebuilding everything. Dude, that's unbelievable. Like, it's like a loop. It's like a prison, prison loop. And, you know, it gets even worse every single time. It's not... What? What? The eagles, the eagles are coming. Yes, Pippin. Uh, Perry Green took. Oh my goodness, dude. What is this army? Right. We gotta destroy something. But you see how much stuff... I mean, the thing is, the stuff he's sending to us is, you know, it feels like it's only like 10% of the actual army from the AI. Look how many Easterlings he has on the field, too. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable, boys. Oof. The second I want to leave my base, dude. It's, what, is what is this? What is this? Do you see this? Catapults, trolls, Haradrims, Souls of Ruin, and Nazgûl's Witch King. All my melee heroes are actually being used for... I mean, he was repairing all his base, though. That's what he was investing money into, I guess. I mean, Gondor is getting much more money in late game than Rohan, because the two extra spots actually pay off big time in late game. Okay, so we have Dude, the scatterpools. They are hitting like a truck. They don't care. They don't care. Yo, this on cooldown. We need. I don't know. I need. To, I need assistance here. Otherwise, I need to pull my pull back my heroes. Like Legolas and Aragorn, they gotta come to my base because I am literally. Look at this fiesta. What is this fiesta, ladies and gentlemen? What is this fiesta? Okay, so let's recall. <laughs> Dude, I'm poor too. Like, I am down to 600 resources only, guys. That's unbelievable. Look at this. Look at... We are losing the bees. It's like... I, I'm, I, I'm gonna let it happen. Like, I don't wanna lose all my army. My army is more valuable than my castle. I mean, luckily, we have an outpost. Look at this triple siege works there. You see this? Oh, my goodness. They got us at level 7. It's good. Let's use Attila's. And keep fighting. Arrowwind, maybe? And keep, just keep shooting, and we gotta keep an eye on Aragorn that we not lose him. They've also healed from the spellbook for the worst case scenario. I'm gonna now go for the outpost, actually, guys, and try to destroy the siege warriors. I think that's the best thing that Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, burn your own army. He wanted to burn Aragorn, but my Aragorn is like, has free footwork. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna destroy now this outpost. That's very important. Aragorn! How fast are you dying? I mean, to be, to be honest, there are like 5 trillion of units shooting at him. And the thing is, if you don't pay attention for like a split second, now the freezing rain is again, you know? The Witch King, the catapults. Guys, help me. Help me, guys. Help me somehow. Send me some more. Oh, there comes the freezing rain. It was not even there. So my allies, Gandalf, is actually being used for saving me, but... They are poor. I mean, I cannot even revive my Aragorn at this point. This is tilting. This is tilting. This is tilting. I mean, the triple siege war exceeds spam. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Kill this, please. Kill this, please. Kill out Kill out there. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, look at this. Pikeman spam now. You know what's up. So we gotta feel with all the normal Rohirrim and let the Rohirrim actually handle the situation. Okay, my archers in inside the city is all are also doing good. And he has lords on the field. I don't want to lose level 10. Please go back and just heal up a little bit more. At the well, you can fight. Because regardless if you're fighting or not, at the well, you will always be able to recover. Let's use this. 
to deny him the leadership and let's go for a death and glory moment once again i mean it, it kind of it kind of sucks that we need to use it this way you know but it is how it is so we need to repeal stuff but <laughs> okay i mean again we need to make sure to destroy the outpost with triple siege forex that's like the next thing the second we have time for it the second we have time for it you see this uh you know the things are coming now the siege towers are coming and the thing is if you don't pay attention all your towers are gonna attack this siege tower and they legit deal zero damage to it so you need to manually select your towers and attack you know order them to attack did he guys did he just not use the freezing ring i think that's darkness okay um oof the shots on my face they hurt they hurt okay now i'm gonna just ignore everything i think and just go just go let's use the ends ignore the catapults and we need to try our best to destroy those triple siege works asap give me i need you i cannot really afford to lose my castle too because the thing is i cannot even rebuy it that's the first thing and then the second thing which is even worse is if it is if he destroys that he has the chance to buy it so we don't want this to happen boys just kill the siege wars please insane ai mordor great siege works it won't be great after it's been taken down now two of them are gone um i'm gonna use heal one more kata was able to enter the catapult spam like it's like call the horde for the for the siege warriors. you know what i'm saying like like endless spam of catapults everywhere aragon is like a long revive time when he's level 10 okay Elma should be able to get away nice Ooh. and gimli the slayer was defending our city that's good that's good that's good that's good, that's good. <laughs> horrible <laughs> that's horrible actually okay um Oh, my ally is also losing stuff. He also, look his base, dude. He just, he like, uh, imagine you are Gondor, you know, you invest that much money into repairing that and every single time you still lose parts of the wall, parts of the wall, parts of the wall, every single time. What can man do against such a reckless seat? Okay. Oof. I mean, the good thing is, AOD from Aragon is available. So we can always use it for the, for the worst case scenario for defending. You know what I'm saying? But the bad thing is that we have AOD, the big AOD on cooldown, and that we are again attacked by like 50,000 catapults. Our base is falling apart, and we are about to lose the castle. So. I mean, the Nazgûls, they, 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 they come so fast back on the menu, too. That's unbelievable. Kill him, please. Okay, let's go. For death and glory, once again, we gotta, we gotta trample those, take down those catapults. That's very important. Gimli is tanking them like a boss, but he cannot tank them for a eternity. Okay, that's good. I mean, money, that, that's even more important. We need money at this point. And the Elma Outlaw leadership is actually providing us enough resources for killing all these monsters and trolls and catapults and also orcs. And that comes another Balrog to our base. And yeah, I mean, another Balrog of Morgoth. <laughs> Help me, dude. I, I, I don't know what I'm, what I'm supposed to do. Like, there is no counterplay to this. How can I deal with this? I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, if the guy comes to your base, and you have AOD on cooldown, good luck dealing with this creature, you know? Good luck dealing with this creature. I need to rebuy re re the stable. I need to make some more army. Where are you? I, I think... No, I don't, I don't need to use it. Okay. What a power. You shall not pass on your face, son. But my ally is, like, having a easier time, and not he's, he's not helping me. This guy is selfish. Maybe he's, like, mad because I was trolling him with the, with the trolls, you know, at the beginning of the game. But get over it already, dude. Get over it. It's like been like two years ago. Dude, this game is going so long, man. What is this game, boys? It's like, I think <laughs> this is going to be like a 10 hours <laughs> gameplay. And hopefully you will watch it until the very end. And if you actually went all this way to this minute, let me know if you are listening to me right now as you are talking, guys. Because I hope you do, since you are the reason I'm doing this. 
and I'm suffering. So, oh my goodness, man, Gimli. Um, okay, boys. So, the, well, what is the plan? You see, they will five throws. How? I mean, okay, maybe they just killed my Gimli. That's why. And there comes the rain. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's go, I guess. Kill the catapults already. How many more? I mean, we destroyed two of his siege wargs, didn't we? Like, how many more does he actually have? Like, did he rebuy again five siege wargs somewhere on the map? I don't even know. I don't want to even. I don't even want to know this. Okay, we got some money from it. That's good. We have. Uh, we are up to five thousand. And uh, yeah. Aragorn's EOD is on cooldown. We can train them up with the Trina Archer's ability to use on the ranges from our ally, the Gondor player, who is just sitting in his base and camping. There comes the Cloud Break. Okay. Um Yeah, I think now we gotta we gotta make a move. We gotta make a move. We need also more army. Aragorn, you can fight this, no problem. I mean, just be, be not far away from your... Oh my, what is this damage from the crossbowman? Bail, Aragorn. You are level 10, my dude. Just bail. I'm going to use more ground stance. That's why you're not going to automatically do some shenanigans himself. And that's one of the one of my most favorite changes in FS 2.22. Uh, you know, the whole the battle stances. So you can actually tell the units, okay, you don't move until I tell you to move. You know? That's very really nice. Okay. I mean, I feel like it's a Black Gate mission, boys. But it's never ending, you know what I'm saying? Frodo is never able to bring the ring to the Mount Doom. That's how it feels like. How does it feel like for you guys? You enjoy it. I'm, I know it. You, know, you guys like that I'm suffering. I know you. Aragorn is actually getting bullied. There comes another Balrog. I, I couldn't even recover from the, from, the, from the earlier Balrog yet. And I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know how long this game is going for. It feels like two hours for me. And I am about to give up. Because I'm about to lose my mind. Like, how am I supposed to break through this loop? By defending only. My ally is also struggling, but I cannot help him. Let's use the arrow vent. He was buying only one siege works. We need to destroy them ASAP. We need to take care of this. As soon as we can, potentially can. He just spams a lot of these siege works. And they are the most annoying thing in you know to deal with in the entire game. It is on cooldown, but I'm gonna just commit. I'm just gonna commit. I don't care. I don't care if I lose my army or not. I want to just kill the Siege Warwicks. That's the least thing that I want to do, is the Balrog is wiping out my army. We might now build eventually and let the end finish it, because I, I, I changed my mind. I can I gave no money to revive, revive all my army. Let's destroy this with the ends, please. Ends are going to war. We have the EOD special summon available too, and we need to try to make some stuff happen, and eventually, you know, finally make a move to maybe destroy one of the open ends. Like, ideally, I want to destroy Isengard first. The reason is simple, because Isengard is the one that is countering us with the Freezing Rain. Nice, boys. We destroyed uh, the Siege Vortex. That's, that's very good. Very good. Balrog is gone. That's also very good. And now we can group them all together and actually make a move. With the EOD summon from the Spare Book. Okay, that's... I think that's the time for us to shine. That's the time for us to shine. That's like the turning around. You know, just like in a film, men or good factions were defending, 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 defending all the time, and then they were making a final push to the Black Gate. And I think that's the moment, but unfortunately, unlike in the films, we have no photo bringing the ring to the Mount Tomb, and we only have to hold. Holding is not gonna get us a W, we need to destroy them. Like in the campaign, destroy all evil forces, you know? <laughs> Let's go. We are broke, we are broke, we are poor, but with Eoma, we can actually make some bank in long terms. Just like heal up a little bit more and look at my army though. My army is also look, these guys are chasing down the one catapult is kiting our ends until the end of the world. Are you kidding me? That's unbelievable. <laughs> Dude, it's like a tilt laugh. Every time you hear me laughing like this, you can know now that I'm tilted. Okay? Now you know. Nice to meet you. Okay, I don't want to attack Mordor though. I want to actually attack, attack Isengard. Maybe I can um, destroy the outpost first at the top side and then work my way up to the Isengard castle. Maybe that's the thing that I want to do. Or maybe I just go to the big castle, you know? So this is good. I, I'm not, I don't want to destroy this yet. I want to actually go to the main castle because I don't want Isengard to be defeated yet. 
because there is a chance that they might call reinforcement when one of the allies gets defeated, which gives eventually Mordor the chance to summon like 5,000 trolls and we don't want this to happen. So we need to make it slow. We need to destroy the castle first and then we gotta take care of the outpost later. You know? Because the main threat is his, out is his castle, right? He has like Uruk pits here, Siege Warks here, double Uruk pits, Armory and everything else. So we need to make sure that EOD is tanking all the damage and our first priority target as a structure is the Siege Warks. So we can actually at least stop him from recruiting any more siege weapons anytime soon. That's the thing. That's the thing we need to do. And again, the reason why Isengard and not Mordor is simple because Isengard is countering us with this freezing rain nonsense. Okay, our ranges are hitting, uh, our Rohirrim archers, sorry, are hitting like a truck. Now kill this troll, please, before the troll is wiping out everything. That's good. We just, oh, he has more siege weapons coming from downtown. We gotta take care of them as well. Our Rohirrim archers, the second the fireball, um, the glory is charged. Sorry, I can't even talk. Um, is gone, they will take so much damage from the structures. Like Uruk Pit is shooting every level 3 production building. Production buildings are buildings you can produce units from, right? Siege works, Uruk Pit, Fork Pit, Soldiers, Barracks, you know, besides farm. So basically, farm is an exception to this rule because farm is only a, normally a resource building but also production building at the same time. That's the reason. Okay. Um, we dealt a lot of damage to Isengard. You know, that's very good. Um, I don't want to overcommit them because the thing about over, you know, about overcommitting is if you lose your army, especially with freezing rain now being active, and uh, look our money, we are not in a situation to rebuy army. And even if you could, they would be only level one, and also that would cost us a lot of time, and we don't want that, right? So basically, for that reason, let's peel, heal up, wait a little bit longer for the cooldown of the freezing rain, and then we can go and I think finish what we have started. Dude, in the meantime, Isengard is moving up, but hey, my Aragorn, Aratorn's son, has a surprise for you, my friend. He has a surprise for you. I summon you to fulfill your oath. Oh, he was almost able, then he would time this. I don't know. If you, I've never tried this, guys. Let me, the quest, question to you in the in the comments. Are you actually able to steal the Offbreakers with the Arag with the Warm Tongue from Saruman? Just curious. Let me know. Oh my goodness, this army, though. <laughs> Look, Aragorn is getting chunked. Oh my goodness. The freezing rain is kind of coming in clutch for, for him, you know? Freezing rain is coming in so clutch for him. At last, it's good. Okay, Isengard, the Isengard is unleashed, boys. That's what it is. Isengard unleashed. And, hey, hey, guys. I know. I don't want to be greedy, but I think because of this insane game in this insane difficulty and suffering, I think this video deserved 400 likes. Do you think I'm crazy? Maybe. But I think you can do it, guys. I think you are even crazier than me. 400 likes. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Aragorn, level 10. Gimli, level 8. Legolas, level 10. Theoden, level 10. Elma level 10. So only Gimli, son of Gloin. We, I feel even bad for Eowyn because we never revived her. The thing about Eowyn is she, she is so squishy. And when she rides with the Rohirrim, she always feels like the first member who dies. So I personally get tilted every time when she dies. That's why I stopped recruiting her. And again, making her tank here feels also like an um, incredible boost to Rohan faction, which already is a very solid faction in the patch 2.22. With like one of the highest win rates, right? Has like not a really bad matchup in early mid game, especially, and already has seven heroes. Keep that in mind. Stun them. Okay, I mean, here's like one Uruk pit, but it feels like the Uruk pit is constantly under effect of the Call the Horde. You know, that's unbelievable. Oh, there comes another Balrog boys. You know what's up? I have nothing to deal with that Balrog, unfortunately. I will also ignore that because what is the matter if I just go to my castle? I can't do anything about Balrog anyway with my army, right? So we need to try to defeat Isengard. We need to try to finish what we have started. Jump on them on their face, Gimli. Okay, the end summon is almost available. The Balrog of Morgoth is entering the castle. Doesn't really care about the physics. <laughs> that he's like taller than the gate, you know, he doesn't care about that. And for death and glory, boy. Oh my witch king. Oh, Witch King, you, now you see him. Now you don't. Leadership, baby girl. Leadership level 10. Dude, I'm telling you, the Rohirrim Archer damage boost increasement. The second they get some levels on them is something else. I'm going to kill the Uruk Pit. Um, yeah, he destroyed the Citadel. That's okay, I guess. Hopefully the towers are going to... Look, I see the minimap, guys. I always keep an eye on the minimap. I see what is coming to my castle, but I am not in the right... Oh, 
Ooh, Gandalf, my man. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Now, finally, you pay us back what we did all game long for you. <laughs> that's good. I mean, that's very good, actually. Otherwise, I think uh, I would have maybe not lost the entire castle, but it would be really close. And our money is not looking still not very good. I mean, I, I feel like I'm poor all game long. I mean, something is wrong, right? I feel like I'm poor all game long. I mean, to be fair, I have also no map control. I have like, what? One, two farms outside, that's it. But still. I mean, imagine without Elma. Imagine if Elma didn't have the outlaw leadership. You know what I'm saying? We would be literally broke all game long. And my ally has also now rangers. Let's level them up with Theodin and also Legolas to get them to high levels. Rangers with level 10 are also incredible. They're like machine gun rangers of the Middle Earth. They have the highest DPS in terms of raw power and strength, but they're also the squishiest units in the game. So they die in a second, but if they don't die in a second, if you don't target them, if you don't trample them, they will also kill you in a single second. That's the power of the rangers, ladies and gentlemen. And as my ally actually used the ranger summon also, uh, see it. The eagle summon to save today. There is a Lurtz, the fighting Urukai. But what can Lurtz do against such a reckless hit? So we killed... Uh, dude, I just choked myself, by the way. Um, we killed... Oh! Dude, the summoning of Balrog from the AI today. That's, I'm, I'm gonna kill him with Aragorn, guys. Listen to this. Aragorn is one of the few things. Heroes, or in this case, beasts. Because Aragorn is a beast from the east. He's one of the only beasts in the game that can actually take down Balrog in long term. So if Balrog doesn't fight him back, he can take down Balrog because he deals crazy amount of damage, you see? And Balrog doesn't want to fight Aragorn. He want to just go and deal structural damage. So I think our Aragorn can actually take him out. Okay, boys. That's a huge Rohan army. Master the Rohirrim, boys. Master the Rohirrim. Look at this. For death and glory... We are going oh we killed the balrog too that's awesome dude nice 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 the orphan shall shall fall shall <laughs> shall fall today let's go now we gotta finish him off now we gotta finish him off that's the push to finish off this isengard he won't be defeated yet because he has an outpost but and he will be defeated soon and hey guys finally after like five hours and 25 minutes we are able to break through uh, through this loop endless loop of defending exclusively that was the last freezing rain you have ever used my friend it was the last freezing rain you have ever used trust me on that one isengard you tilted me it was a worthy opponent it was very good it was cheating hella cheating but i'm cheating even more you know if the glorious charge glorious charge is so busted dude i'm telling you guys this is such an amazing ability which makes single-handedly Theodin to one of the best heroes in the entire game. The amount of support Theodin offers. You can level them up with the King's Fever. You can give them leadership with level 1 for 1200 resources only. And on top of that, you are legit able to nearly make your cavalry invincible. And if you don't know, the Glorious Charge also works on Gondor Knights and most ironically and also funny, it looks amazing by the way, it works on the Vork Riders. So if you play a 2v2 match and you are Rohan and your ally is Isengard, you have some Vork Riders, you can use whole ability, Vork Chant and then you can use Glorious Charge. They glow pink and white at the same time, it looks actually hilarious. I don't know if you have seen this before, but it's definitely working, so Glorious Charge is indeed also applying on the, on the, on the Vork Riders. Okay. The castle is gone. That's very good. That's very good. That's very good. The ends are also here. Huge army of Rohirrim and Rohirrim archers. And now the outposts. When once the output... Oh my goodness. We gotta kill this. Dude, the thing is, the siege weapons, they are almost immune to arrows. Unless the arrows have fires, you know? That's the only time for, <laughs> for them to actually deal damage to the siege weapons. So we gotta destroy the outpost, and the second we do that, this Isengard is gonna be defeated. We're not gonna... You see this? By the way, did you guys see this? Like, he's sending like 5,000 Lambermill Vork. Okay, let's make some peasants, I guess. I don't know how to deal with this otherwise. I'm not gonna use EOD to deal with one catapult. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, we have some Rohirrim here. That's good. It's... Okay, it's gone already. Nice. I wanna just buy this one, you know? I need to wait a little bit longer, because I have still not 5 key. 5 key is required to buy this. Yeah. Okay, nice. So my ally... And me, we can now move together. And now, as the direct opponent from our ally has been de defeated, 
he can move with me and then we can actually team up against Mordor. It's just like in the film, you know? You see, Isengard got taken out first, you know? And then Mordor last. It's just like in the film, I'm telling you. And just like in the film, Rohan is the carry. <laughs> because let's be honest, in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, Rohan was the carry faction, guys. There is no doubt about that. Gondor did almost nothing, right? Am I right or not? What do you guys think? I'm curious, but I think, I mean, we have the same eyes. We have, we have seen the same film. And that's definitely Rohan, the carry faction in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. There is no doubt about that. I mean, I don't want a beast read, though. I don't want to. I don't want to lose the piece after buying this piece. Oh, he has still work riders. Theoden King stands alone, not alone. Rohirrim, dude. Okay, we cannot even fill up the beast yet. <laughs> uh, I want to just go, go for the outpost. I don't know if he has another outpost there. Maybe, maybe he has. Oh, the War of Power, dude. Only one farm is remaining, by the way. I'm so confident. My ally is always helping me out. My ally is watching more over my own castle than I actually do. Because I am kind of... Dude, guys, I'm telling you. If we would only watch over our own castles all game long, we would have lost this game. You need to make a move for offensive purposes. You cannot defend all game long. That's legit not possible. By the way, that's the last outpost, if I'm not mistaken, from Isengard. That should defeat him. And then we have only Mordor. Against the power of Mordor, there can be no victory. Or can there be a victory? That's the question. Lots of archers on the field. Catapult from downtown, shooting at my Rohirrim archers. Don't do this. I'm gonna just destroy this. I'm gonna commit and then I'm gonna build to heal up. Build and heal up. Dude, we are so we are so poor. It's unbelievable. Oh, he is still not done with the outpost at the top side. Oh, triple Haradrim perish at the bottom side. <laughs> you love to see it. Let's kill this troll, please. And you know, maybe is it is is it late for the map control? <laughs> Maybe I should just focus on the map control now because I have the feeling that I have always no money. Okay. So I want to actually, I, you know, I want I don't want to lose time either. You know, just go for a trample here. We did it, I think. I think. I don't know if we, have, if we are expecting any shenanigans, boys, but I think we are about to win this game. That's freaking awesome and also kind of, kind of releasing like I, I feel like now Theodin after he got released you know from the spell heart army has been defeated guys Mwah! that's that's what I like to read at the top right side of my screen that's what I like to read nice so let's can let's now go to the well heal up a little bit and then Mordor you are next look at this rune spam dude what is going on <laughs> okay we need to build some more farms you know we are poor that's the problem we have EOD summon though we have you know Alvin summon we have also the in summon almost pick up, so it should be no problem now to run Mordor down. Come on now, please move on, Rohirrim. It's not time. Linger, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hi, nice. Okay, darkness, but hey, darkness, I don't mind. I mind, I, I only care about the freezing rain. If the freezing rain is gone now, we are in a phenomenal spot. Trust me. You can eye of Sauron all you want, but one troll cannot match with the strength and the burst damage of our Rohirrim marches, boys. Okay. Dude, we have 207 out of 200 command points because we have, you know, we were recruiting units all the time, but they were never fully recovering. And when they recover, we have now more command points than we are actually allowed to. That's unbelievable. <laughs> now Mordor is moving. My ally is under pressure, but it's okay. I mean, it's only outpost, right? When, as long as it's not a mean castle, we should be in a good spot. Okay, so I believe um, the Mordor is like, what, two outposts and the full castle, right? If I'm not mistaken. Now, he bought the outpost, so he has three outposts in total, but we gotta take care of this outpost first. And then he has one at the bottom side and one in the middle. So three outposts and one main castle. This has to be the one push to victory, boys. This has to be and will be the one push for the victory. And guys, dude, two hours, I don't even know, like, it's so hard to tell when you are playing such an intense game, how long it takes, like, I mean, just like, um, I'm assuming it's like over one hour and 30 minutes, because I've seen so many Balrogs in this game that each time they have like eight minutes cooldown, and I think I've seen like more than 10 Balrogs in total, right? Maybe I'm overreacting, I don't know. Uh, but it feels like it's a two-hour game. And I think that's going to be one of the longest gameplay videos for a single game on the channel. 
So sorry for, you know, making it, not being able to make it shorter. But you'll see, I, I'm not even trolling. I'm trying hard. Okay, so let's buy this. So we cannot capture this one. And dude, my Rohirrim army, uh, this, this Rohirrim army, boys, is looking extremely strong. Even stronger. Look, the drummer trolls. <laughs> they are coming for the celebration, you know. But I'm gonna cool and take down your castle, my friend. Damn! Let's go! Write it down right now. To the world's ending. The ends are going to war. You know what is up. Everything is going to war. AOD, I'm gonna summon you very soon as well. But I, I don't think... Like, I'm just gonna summon them so they can tank. But they have, like, not much in the beast. I was expecting more, to be honest. But I think they are just permanently attacking my castle all the time so the ends are chasing the troll <laughs> i don't care just like finish off i think our rohirrim are strong enough to handle the situation look how many how many runes yes i'm gonna close the gate though <laughs> just like make sure that these runes are annoying they have so many towers but that doesn't really matter when they have darkness they are so tanky okay nice -o. nice -o, nice -o, nice -o. So, and after this, my ally just destroyed the middle outpost, and then we can just go for the for the last outpost remaining, and then that's it, boys. That's it. We are victorious. Was easy, Kappa. <laughs> Was not easy. Was not easy, boys. I mean, I don't know if you have seen ever me playing against seven hard armies in BFME one on the you know on the older videos, and I think none of these videos took that long time for me to be for me to finish. Right? Against seven, by the way. I'm not talking about a 2v2. I have even an ally, right? I'm not even playing alone against two. None of this 1v7 took me that long. That's unbelievable. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was actually kind of rough, but also fun at the same time. It was challenging, definitely. It was frustrating, which definitely is challenging. And hopefully it was also fun for you to watch, guys. And let me know what else you want to see in the future. Again, very soon we will have a BFME 1 tournament in May, in like four week, three weeks from now. We're gonna have a tournament for BFME 1 on the on the most recent version of the patch 2.22. And in about three weeks also we're gonna have a new update before the tournament starts, which also will include the changes for the good campaign. So stay tuned. If you are looking to play the campaign anytime soon, just be patient. Wait three more weeks before you're gonna give it a shot. And you can also watch all the streams of the tournament on my Twitch channel at Twitch TV slash Beyond Sanders. You can find the link in the description down below. Hard Army has been defeated. GG well played. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck and also stay Beyond Sanders. By the way, we are stuck in the victory screen. I think we deserved it. We gotta find and see this victory screen as long as we can. The game can't calculate. We have killed eight thousand units see you next time peace out guys